Hey, good afternoon. It's nice and warm, and I'm nice and angry. I've been woken up twice now for more donations. This is really all about the fact that I've asked you before, tried to explain kind of economics to you, that I'm a shekel-squeezing old Jew that I don't I haven't wasted a penny of anybody's donation. Everybody knows I'm not out here converting ethanol to aldehydes. I'm not a drug abuser, not a drunk. I'm not, and I'm not a food abuser either. I eat very little despite how fat I am. I'm fat because of lack of mobility. My legs don't work worth a shit, okay? Let's get that straight. Let me tell you what happened today, which all it did was just like start pissing me off from, oh, it's delicious. First guy stops and he brings me something. He brings me two breakfast burritos from Rudy's. Delicious. Within my dietary, very little vegetable oil present. It was just, uh, you know, thin tortillas, uh, eggs. Uh, I think it was eggs and steak or, you know, chopped up steak, you know delicious and stuff and then uh what was next because like, it just they just kept on coming uh, i think next was the awesome uh einstein's breakfast bagel with uh bacon and uh and cheese yeah it wasn't kosher that's okay god doesn't want me to starve to death you know, bacon, cheese, and it had one of those wonderful, like, uh, poppy. I think it had a little bit of, I can tolerate that dried, baked onion in small quality. Delicious, awesome bagel and stuff like that. I ate it because, see, this is what I'm dealing with right from the start. Is that, number one, these people didn't deliver to me with, like, an additional. I've got some bags, but they're really not sanitary, and they're, or for trash and for dirty laundry and stuff. It's, I really can't and I'm not going to carry around anticipating especially food that will go bad before I can ever eat it. And this morning I overate. First was the breakfast tacos. There was the, the delicious Einstein, and there's a bag of, you know, of Einstein bagels right there in that food donation. See it on the outside corner? The ants may have already located it. So you're just working my ass to death with bringing me, I've told you before, don't bring me anything more than like a small, I really, the two breakfast burritos is really all I needed until I eat four to six bananas. That's been my sweet lately before I go to bed. And please, it's not, and one guy insisted on giving me a handful of what was mostly pennies. I hate change. They weigh a ton. They buy almost nothing. Nobody wants to be seen. What am I going to do? Because nobody also wants to be standing behind somebody trying to pay for something in pennies and nickels and dimes. It takes forever. I try to think of the people behind me in line. All my transactions in stores are very quick. And as a matter of fact, I'm pretty soon, shortly, think I'm going to be getting, finally getting a new bank card after four months, which will eliminate the need for me to carry cash at all. Except unless you want to give me money, which then I will eventually put in the bank and use only plastic. I really don't like carrying cash money, but this is my point. At first, it was like the... I had the... Oh, okay, already four minutes. First, I had like two. The two of them together was more than enough for the whole day until like banana time in the evening. I don't eat that much. And then came the bagels breakfast, you know, monster. Oh, that was delicious. Uh, then there was a guy that brought something from Jack in the Box. And I was first, I was looking at the bag funny, thinking it might be Taco Bell. If it was Taco Bell, I would have absolutely told him. But no, I politely accepted it. And although it was a little greasy with vegetable oil, I still ate it. Oh, my God. I ate three times this morning. That's all I wanted to do was try to recover my breathing and fall asleep. I did. Then I woke up and the next thing, and oh, I forgot the woman who brought me a nice chunk of hot from Starbucks banana nut bread, which I love. I've eaten one of them before, 
but I don't know if I can handle that much more via vegetable oil on a day which I've already absolutely maxed out for days. No more vegetable oil for at least 48 hours. I can eat a little bit of it occasionally, but I cannot tolerate these toxic vegetable oils every fucking day. My point here is, is that if you people would just think about me for a while, I only have one arm, I'm in a wheelchair, I don't walk very well. As you can see, I've thrown away a lot of shit and I keep like heavy items and other stuff like that. And I'm not setting up camp anywhere. I've been through this with local people and got harassed again by the cops a couple of nights ago who don't really, they were trying to bully me and I'm pretty sure their supervisor was watching. And they were actually trying to bully me with criminal trespass, not knowing that the owner's agent has already spoken to me and said that they're gonna, she's gonna speak to me at least once a week to make sure I'm doing well mentally and physically and everything. It's, I've already twice now, I've had to re, these pudgy, uh, you know, barely, I don't think even triple digit IQ, I don't think they even make it into triple digits. IQ like rookie cops in the wee hours when they got nothing else to do. They come up here and harass, or that fake cop trying to harass. Dude, you can't threaten. These guys actually escalated. They raised their voice the way I'm doing right now, even worse. And they threatened me with shit that they can't do, like criminal trespass. You can't do that without the owner's permission. And I've already told them once that the owners never said boo to me. Then now that the owners' agents have talked to me, there appears to be no trouble with where I'm sleeping. But kind of one of my rules is I'm not trashing that place up. I'm not filling it up with food crumbs and crap like that. I'm not just, please, it's already happened. I've already had to give away or give to the food pantry or put in the dumpster a shit ton of food by from given to me by people who just not really thinking. You know, if you really want to help me, like that first thing in the morning, that's fine. But when you see that bag from Rudy's sitting right beside me, be using it as a trash bag and an ant attractor to keep ants off of, from eating my own legs, you might want to consider giving me cash money. Hey, you know what? They take it for everywhere and they take it for the items that I eat. And this is what I've got with plenty of witnesses. This is primarily because I violated the hell out of my diet today. This is normally all that I eat on a daily basis is stewed beef, lean, no additives, no garlic, no nothing, not, not beef stew, stewed beef. I eat the relatively low fat, high protein mozzarella sticks because shit, a package of those, oh gosh, last forever. They don't, they're really not heat sensitive. And I eat a lot of bananas. Just bananas have been my primary sweet of late and stuff. And that's pretty much it. And you're actually, if you really want to help me, stop leaving me piles of shit that I have to try to give away or throw in the dumpster. And I, when I started this out, I mentioned I just threw away a beautiful plate. You know, it was like a barbecue sausage sliced up a uh, brisket or something like that, all kind of tater salad, you know, refritos. It, because I'm not going to you know, compete or wait. I'm not going to eat that shit cold after the ants have already had their, you know. Stop giving me shit that I cannot eat. If it's spicy, if it's full of vegetable oil, you know, if it's got... Just give me the freaking cash. Trust me, I will manage it better than you do. I will spend it on better calories, less toxic calories, and on other items that I desperately need at that moment. See, everything, money's the one thing that's collapsible, lightweight, portable, accepted everywhere. I really can't buy anything with that. Almost all of it, I can tell just by looking here. There's a loaf of bread and a bag of bagels. I really don't eat much bread. I try to stay away from wheat wheat in general <laughs> because it's too, I believe it also is usually frequently full of glyphosates. <clears throat> Please people have a little consideration for the old man because I'm really, I think they can see it today. The rudeness was starting to come out. 
you know, if you bring me food, literally today, I think it was a total of six times, you just keep bringing me food when I'm being surrounded by food and you're making me look like a, some litter, uh, littered up hobo camp, it's going to go in the fucking dumpster. And that means I got to get up and walk. And when I walk and have to endure that pain for your stupidity, that makes me hate you. Seriously. Ask me if I'm hungry, number one. Keep the meal small and within the bounds of what I've tried to tell you, which is I don't do spices and vegetable oils and crap like that. and don't like tons of wheat and bread and crap like that. Don't, not into that wheat culture shit. It does, it's, for one thing, it's almost always mixed and made and baked with vegetable oils, toxic vegetable oils. If you want to help me, you give me cash money, $2. That's fine. That's better than me sitting here and watching 10, 15, 20 dollars, you know, 50, 60 dollars worth of food being actually today the cash value of food that I shouldn't have eaten or that will rot or be thrown away is if you actually include what I did eat and shouldn't have eaten, it would have been about 60 dollars cash. Trust me, I'd rather have the cash. You know, winter's coming up. I'm the only one that can decide what the hell I need. And the last thing I need is, you know, 10,000 calories a day of food that I can't eat. Just remember that. You keep giving me food that I cannot eat. Please pass this on to your friends and family and your local food pantry and anybody else who's interested in humanitarian work is that remember that what you like to eat is probably what would kill me. And I don't eat what you eat. And that thinking that food is the whole center of my universe, it's not. As a matter of fact, I feel terrible from overeating this morning. So that's it at 12 minutes. Please think about it. The ants love the food you're bringing, but I don't. I love shekels. This Jew will hang on to a shekel and use it appropriately and not let it sit on the ground like you to be eaten by ants because you didn't think about putting it in a goddamn ant proof package before giving it to me, Mr. and Mrs. Kind, sweet, humanitarian, doesn't even think to put it in an ant proof package before giving it to me thinking I'm going to gobble it down like some hungry alcoholic. That's what really pisses me off. That you think that any of you people think that I'm a glutton. That pisses me off. Honestly, I've told you before, if you're not going to give me shekels, cash donations, you insist on food, just fucking keep it. Don't bother. I've got, I'm, trust me, I'll take care of it. Thank you so much. And the ants want to thank you too.